Okay, YouTube, uh, this is part three. I think it's part three. Yeah, it's part three. Okay, so what I'm going to do when I build this rack, um, unlike my other racks that I had complete, like, uh, solid walls, these are going to have posts. I'm going to kind of set it up like a rat rack. So what I do is um, I set up two boards, two of the shelves, and then I put the post on. And that way they're where I want them and they'll hold. So when I'm actually like, I can kind of set them up, level them, make sure they're right. I could drill down, I'm going to do two holes. Then I could screw down and I could put two of those half inch screws on there. Now since my wife's not home or any of my friends to help me with this, which would make it easier, one thing I kind of figured out what to do is um, I have these quite large uh, clamps. They have a really big uh, rail on them. And so I put those at the very bottom. I put one on this shelf and one on this shelf, kind of opposite of each other to kind of counterbalance each other, and that's holding the shelves up. And so what I do is I space them out far, far enough to kind of support these without me having to like really support them at all. And then once I drill these down, I'm going to stick another shelf right here. Well, okay, once I drill these down, I'm going to flip it, do the other two posts. And then after that, I'm going to flip it, do the same thing on the other side. Okay, and then after I get that done, I'm going to stand it up. And I'm going to move this shelf down to where I'm going to need it. Need to put the tubs, you know, and everything. And I'll drill that onto the post. And once you get the two shelves in, everything is um, more supported. You're not going to have the wobbly effect or anything. Then I can really move on from there. Okay. So this is part three, guys. Um, after I'm done screwing in the post on this side, I'll probably do another update. Or I might just flip it, do the other two posts, and then I'll do an update. Okay, I got, okay guys, um, stay tuned.